good morning good morning all of guys myself professor vai ulkare sendi college of engineering research center yavla the department of electrical engineering today we will discuss the first chapter of the subject power system operation and control in the chapter we discuss the different economic operation of power systems and different types of definitions which which are to be used first introduction of the chapter first definition load duration curve first definition load duration curve in load duration curve in the power system we will discuss the load duration curve integrated load duration curve connected load maximum load utilization factor base load peak load all types of the terms all types of the terms which are performed in this chapter first we will discuss the load duration curve first we will, uh, we will discuss the load duration curve maximum maximum load in another word we say that maximum demand first load duration curve the load duration curve is a plot of the load demands in units of power arranged in descending order of magnitude on the y axis and the time in hours on the x axis load duration curve the load duration curve is a plot of the load demands in units of power arranged in the descending order of the magnitude on the y axis and the time in hours on the x axis it can be drawn as shown uh, by using graph we also explain time of duration in hours and load in megawatt after discuss the load duration curve we discuss the integration integrated load duration curve the integrated load means duration curve is a plot of the commutative number of the units of electrical energy on the x axis and the load demand on the y axis after discuss the integrated load duration curve we discuss the connected load a domestic consumer may have several appliances rated at different wattages the sum of this rating in its connected load connected load is the sum of the ratings watt kilowatt or megawatt of the apparatus installed and consumer premises after discuss the connected load we discuss the maximum demand it is the maximum load used by consumer at any time it can be less than or equal to the connected load it is called as maximum demand maximum demand it is the maximum load used by consumer at any time on the less than or equal connected load after we discuss the demand factor the ratio of the maximum demand to the connected load is called as demand factor dap is equal to maximum demand upon connected load its units are same like as w kw or mw w watt kilowatt or mega after discussing the demand factor what is the mean by average load it is it the number of kilowatt hours supplied by a station in one day one day is divided by 24 hours then the value obtained is known as daily average load daily average load is equal to kilowatt hour in one day upon 24 monthly average load is equal to kilowatt hour in one day divided by 30 into 24 hours yearly average load is defined as kilowatt hour in one day upon 365 days into 24 hours by using 
different types of all types of definitions we will we will discuss the all the types of operations ideal operating condition design limit small system or loading system fuel constraint the methods demand of the high incremental cost the operation can determine over the line system or economic utility economic utility by using all these types it also depends upon peak load maximum load demand factor average load or different types of the loads different types of the loads which can be performed in many power systems working process and operation in many practical situation there are both physical and situational constraints that prevent the interchange interconnected utility system achieving optimum economic dispatch extended energy change evaluation required to extended load levels most properly interconnected this system represented cost of the power the integrated load duration curve and different types of the format different types of the formats of the performing of all the systems operations performing all the systems operations in analyzing the economic operation of the thermal units input output modeling characteristics are significant for the reason consider single unit consist of boiler and turbine and generator different formats so power system perform the different types of the operations and how to work i already explained this process next chapter all or next lecture we will discuss the whole operations of the power system and different working criteria and different formulas so thank you very much